Okay, it's time for a live video. This is the video that you guys have requested and requested and requested and it is called How I Curl My Hair. <laughs> I'm going to share some tips and tricks with you guys today um, and kind of show you guys a few different ways you can curl your hair. So before we get started and jump into that, um, hi to all of you guys who are jumping in. Thanks for watching. If you guys did not know, I announced on Instagram and Snapchat today, I think and Facebook, that I wasn't going to have the normal 5 p.m. video pop up. I was actually going to do a live video for you guys tonight. So I know it's a little late. 8 p.m. Mount Center time is kind of late, especially for those of you who still have school, especially if you're on the East Coast or in a different time zone. So anyway, I would have liked to do a little bit earlier, but I can't make everyone happy. I'm doing the best I can. All right, so before we get started, um, I would love you guys to comment right now and tell me what color your hair is, since we're talking about hair today. Um, so comment and tell me what color your hair is and what color it truly is. If you dye your hair, what color is it really? Um, so for me, um, my hair is blonde, obviously, but um, I am very dark blonde now. I was born a blonde and it just gets dark every year. So kind of dark. Anyway, so comment what your hair color. I love hearing comments from you guys and all the information you guys bring. If you guys have questions during this video, please leave them. I'm going to try to answer all the questions and as many as I possibly can and share this video with anyone you think might want to know the information too. So you guys can share the link with other people and at the end of the video I'll tell you guys more about that. But I have a lot to talk about and I know we don't want to stand forever. I don't know, maybe you guys do. Maybe you guys, maybe you guys don't have any TV shows to watch tonight and we can just hang out. I don't really know. But we're going to talk about hair curling today. So I have a few things that we're going to talk about. Um, Everyone is jumping in. Yes, you guys are telling me your colors of hair. Perfect. Um, okay, so I will go back to questions later. Um, it's really hard, like I've said before, to re read comments and talk to you guys because I don't want them to be like a lag. But I will do my best, so bear with me. But more importantly, we want to talk about hair. Okay, so today, this hair that I have today is a very, very loose, beachy wave curl that I did this morning at like 8 a.m., so clearly it's still there. Usually my hair can stay for a few days. This is a very loose curl, so it doesn't stay as long. But if I do a tighter curl, I can get away with like not curling my hair for like three days and just keeping the same curls. It's pretty awesome. So there's a few different ways and things you need to do in order to make sure that your hair curls. I'm going to show you guys beachy waves today. I'm going to show you some glamorous curls. Um, all of these hair curling things you guys can use for Valentine's Day or Valentine's Day dates if you guys have those. Or just every day because I feel like I curl my hair just about every day. Um, and the best part is, is that the curling irons I'm going to share with you guys today, which are some of my favorite, favorite, favorite curling irons, are actually on sale. So if you guys wanted to buy them, um, today is the day to do that. And that is why I wanted to do the live videos, because I saw that they were on sale, and I thought, okay, this is the day to do it. So if people want to duplicate what I'm doing, they'll be able to grab the curling irons and save some money too, because you guys know I'm all about that. Um, quick question I did get is, do I have extensions? No. This is all my real hair. Um, if I had extensions, which would be awesome, it would be a lot thicker. So no, this is not my hair, and obviously your hair is going to look a lot better if it is curled. All right, so let's jump in right in. Um, the very first and most important thing, and this is, I think, the number one problem people have when they are trying to curl their hair, is that they are using the wrong curling iron. You cannot use a lot of those curling irons you grab at the grocery store for like 10, 15 bucks. They're, they just don't get hot enough, and most people's hair need a really, really hot curling iron to curl their hair, right? So let's let's think about it like this. In, in physics and all that kind of stuff, you need something hot to create something, and when it cools, it like sets the product, right? So we think about that with cooking, we think about that with um, lots of different things that go along with that, if that makes sense. So um, same thing goes with curling. If you want to curl something, it has to be very hot, and then in order for it to stay, it needs to cool in that form. So that's why you need a really hot curling iron. So um, that is the number one thing. My Some of my very, very favorite curling irons are Hot Tools curling irons. Um, this is one of them that I'm going to show you guys today, some curls. Uh, this is just a regular curling iron. It's not a wand. I will show you guys some wand stuff too, but I wanted to start with this because you literally can curl your hair seven different ways with this curling iron. It's freaking awesome. Um, and I also love it because it has a dial. So if your hair is finer and it doesn't need a lot of heat, you can change the dial to go hotter or lower. I like that a lot. Mine's always up at the hottest, um, 430 degrees. Guys, that can cook a steak. And I always use that terminology because I think it's so funny. You need a curling iron hot enough to cook a steak. So 
that is what we're going to be showing, what I'm going to be showing you guys today. But I um, want to talk about hair protecting because I had people ask me about this on Instagram. Um, my favorite hair protectant is the Chi Silk Infusion. It's like a little bottle. It's gray. It has a red top. I love it, and it lasts forever. Like, it's so good. The reason why I like that instead of other products that I've tried is that sometimes when you use um, products in your hair to help with the heat, it goes crispy. Like, when you use a curling iron or put any heat on it, and then your hair, like, isn't smooth and pretty. And so I don't like that. So that's why I really like the Chi Silk Infusion. Um, the, get the smallest bottle you possibly can, even, like, the travel size if you can at the store. Um, and it will last you forever. You barely need a little bit. If you use too much, your hair will get oily, at least mine does, and then you'll know that you use too much, and the next time just use less. So that's just information for you guys, and um, the other information I want to tell you guys is to curl away from your face. We're always, always going to be doing that. All right? Okay, so let's get started. Like I said, this is a really, really loose beachy wave that we're going to be doing today, but I am going to be um, pulling this up. Um, I like to always split my hair, so I will put like half of my hair up um, so I can split my hair in half because my hair is pretty thick. Um, if your hair isn't thick, I would still do this because you want to get as, you want to get PC curls, so you have a lot of different options. I'm sure it looks gorgeous right now. <laughs> um, and let me switch over to this so I can actually use this. Okay, curling iron time. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is a one-inch Hot Tools curling iron. So let me say this now, and I'll say it again in a little bit. Um, if you go to... Open up a new browser window. Keep this one open. Open up a new browser window while you're talking to me if you need to. And go to themaliashow.com slash hair, I believe is what it is. Hair. Let me just double check. No, it's, sorry. It's themaliashow.com slash curls. So I'm going to put this right now in the chat section. So if you're watching live, this is in the chat section. And if you are not watching live, um then it'll be below in the YouTube description as soon as the video uploads. So you guys can click on that right now. My name has like a little yellow crown by it. Just scroll down until you see it, and then you can click on that. It'll open up a new browser window, and you guys can go see the sale for the Hot Tools Curling Iron, okay? All right, um, so now, curling iron. There are lots of different ways you can use this curling iron. I'm gonna show you guys a handful of them. Um, obviously, we're gonna I'm gonna start wrapping around the outside of the wand. So before they made wands, you guys know what a wand is, right? Before they made wands, um, I would wrap my hair around the outside of my regular barrel curling iron. So it would look a little something like this. I'm always curling away. I'm not curling towards. That's not what we want. We don't want curls going into the face. We want them going out. So I'm going to be curling like this and just wrapping it around. And I'm leaving the tail out. You'll see that I'm leaving a little space. That's what it. And that is the curl that I get just from using this not even having like another curling iron and I probably have like 10 curling irons and I literally only use probably like three or four of them because I can get the curls that I want with one curling iron and if I travel I only have to bring like one curling iron with me something like that so that's a pretty curl with the tail out yeah and you guys notice I didn't hold it very long like it didn't take a long time for me to like get it curled that's because it's so hot and that's why I love them they're so great hot tools totally rocks okay so that's one without you can do the same thing with a curl wrapping around towards the outside and you can wrap all the way down to the very very bottom so there's no tail that will curl it all the way and you'll have ringlets all the way down you can do this around your entire head and then you'll have like these beautiful cascading curls I like to think of these kind of like as mermaid curls um, a lot of my Instagram pictures have those on them so hopefully that helps you guys out with that so that's one and two ways that you guys can use this curling iron um, let's leave this one here I'm gonna leave it Sorry, it's backwards. <laughs> let's leave that there, and let's do something on the other side. Let me show you guys what happens when you do the same thing, but you wrap it inside the barrel. So this gets a little bit tricky because I'm going to be wrapping it in, leaving it open, and wrapping it. And I'm gonna hold it for just a second, and then it's going to come out like that. Very similar, but totally different. You see how this one goes up higher than this one? It's because the heat is wrapping around the entire curl and not just the outside or the inside layer of the curl. Does that make sense to you guys? <laughs> Hopefully it does. Leave comments if you guys are like, you guys have questions about this or you're following me along. Um, you guys can do a mix of curls. You guys can do um, 
all the same curls all the way around if you guys want to. But you just don't have to hold it that long, and that's what I love the most about it. It's so freaking awesome. Okay, so you guys will see that we're getting like some super, super pretty curls, yeah? Okay, so again, if you guys want one of these curling irons, that's where you need to go. You guys can break up your curls if you guys want, um, and then you kind of get like looser waves, right? Okay, so I'm gonna let my hair down. Typically what I would do is I would do this half of my hair, and then this half of my hair, and then I'd let it down, put the rubber band back. So I take this rubber band out, put it in this hair, and then I would do the top. Um, okay, I'm getting a few questions. Let me hurry and answer these because they go along with this. Um, I did not have to use any hairspray in my hair to get that curl. I know everyone's hair is a little bit different, but I will say that when I use cheaper curling irons, I would have to use hairspray in order to get to even curl. And with the Hot Tools curling iron, I don't have to do that, which is so awesome. I do, at the very end, after I curled all of my hair, this is the hairspray that I use. It is called Bedhead. Um, it's Masterpiece um, Hairspray. I have used this for probably at least five or six years. It is so awesome. You don't have to use very much. It doesn't make your hair sticky. It leaves your hair curly all day long. And like I said, when I use this product, I can go a few days. Well, when I use this product along with the Hot Tools Curling Iron, I can usually go a few days without having to recurl my hair which is great, especially when you're busy and you're not gonna wash your hair anyway. So, um, super, super good. Right now these are a buy two, get one free sale and I have linked you guys to those. So um, I'm gonna put that um, up in the chat as well for you guys right now, super, super quick. So we don't have any issues. Um, it's just the maliashow.com slash bedhead and I will put that in the um, live section so right now. And my list is thamaliashow.com slash Sorry, I'm like hearing myself. That's not supposed to be happening right now. Okay. So we are good. Perfect. Okay, so there it is. You'll see another crown popping up. Um, okay. And does a hairspray leave your hair feeling soft? Yes. This is why I love it. Everything you want in a hairspray is in this hairspray. That is why I love it. My hair is super soft and I don't have any issues with it. Okay. Um, let's see. How long does it take to curl my hair? I can curl my whole hair, all of my hair within probably like five to seven minutes. It doesn't take very long because you don't have to hold your hair in the curling iron forever. Um, if it takes a long time to hold your hair in a curling iron, you're waiting for it, then that's what takes people so long to curl their hair is because they're waiting for the hair to get hot and to curl. But if you have a hot curling iron, it's gonna set to curl fast. You can get all of your hair curled very, very fast. So maybe I'll do like a time thing at the end for those of you who wanna stay on so you guys can see how fast it takes me or how long it takes me to curl my hair. Um, I don't know if you guys want to see something like that, then you guys can see how fast I can actually curl it. Comment and let me know if you guys want to see that and I'll do it at the very, very end of this video for those of you who do. Okay, so those are a few different curls. The other curl I want to show you guys is just a straight up ringlet curl. And the reason why is because um, one of the videos that I, sh or one of the pictures I shared on my Instagram post uh, was of ringlet curls um, and they're kind of like, like kind of just hanging on one side. Um, Ringlet curls, you guys know how to do ringlet curls, right? But there's a few different ways you can do ringlet curls. You guys can do a ringlet curl where you leave the tail out and you roll up. The hair on the top isn't gonna to be as tight of a curl as the bottom because it isn't like right against the heat. So you're gonna see a curl like that where I have the bottom kind of hanging out. Another thing you guys can do with any time you leave the tail out, I don't know if that's like the right way to say it, but that's what I call them. I call them tails. <laughs> I don't know why. But um, if you have a tail, sometimes they're like half curly and half straight. What you can do is actually take a straightener, or if you're using one of these instead of a wand, you can actually take the bottoms of your hair and straighten it. So you guys have like a really straight um, part of your tail that comes out. So sometimes if you have like lots of layers in your hair, that can really help make the hair look a little bit cooler than having some messy tails. So that's just a regular ringlet curl with a tail. But what I really like to do, and this is what I'm talking about when I talk about big, gorgeous curls, is if you go to the very bottom, you guys already know how to use a curling iron, right? The thing that I love about this curling iron is that um, I can get these beautiful like ringlet curls that literally last forever. So like I have ringlet curls, and again, I'm always curling away from the face. Yeah? Okay. So do we have any questions so far? Because I feel like I'm talking super fast, probably because I don't want you guys to be on here forever. Um, but hopefully it helps you guys. Um, 
I'm trying to see if there's any questions. I have never tried a T3 curling iron, so I don't know about that. I know they're a lot of money, but I get the results I want out of the Hot Tools curling irons that I have, so um, I've never really spent the money on it, but if I ever try them out, I will let you guys know. Okay, this is a great question. I'm gonna answer this one. Laura asked me, am I endorsed by Ulta, or do you just love them so much that you always go with them? I wish I was endorsed, and I wish I was endorsed by Ulta. That would be freaking awesome. I wish they would pay me <laughs> for promoting them. I literally just love them because their prices are great. They always have sales. They let me use coupons. They have an amazing rewards program, so I can use those reward points on all the high-end products that you normally don't get a discount on. I don't know. I love everything about Ulta, so it kind of just works. Okay, so now that we're talking about this, let's move over to um, the curling wand. So I'm going to unplug this other one really fast because if you guys notice, I'm clearly not in my bathroom. <laughs> and um, I only have one plug down here, so i got to hurry and plug this one on. So let me talk to you guys about the wand. This wand is part of the sale right now too. So um, when we have um, a wand, you guys will see wands that are straight that go up and down. You also will see a tapered wand. This is a tapered wand. It goes bigger to smaller. This is what's gonna give you the super cool look that a lot of you guys are probably looking for when you guys see like questions or when you guys see like pictures, you're like, whoa, how did she curl her hair like that? It's a tapered wand. This one is about, oh, let me go back to this one. This one is an inch curling iron. So if you guys do buy one and you want the same size curls as mine, this is an inch. The bigger your curling iron goes, then the looser your curl's gonna be, the smaller your sections are, the tighter your curl's gonna be. So yeah, anyway, hope that helps you guys. <clears throat> um, see, I'm getting a lot of questions. I'm gonna come back to these guys. If you ask a question, I'm gonna come back because I, I don't wanna, I get distracted when you guys ask me questions. <laughs> um, okay, making sure that it's on. Um, so with a tapered wand, you're going to have like regular size wands and you have tapered. Um, this is an inch or an inch and a half and it goes down. This is a really, really cool look. So let me hurry and show you guys why sometimes you guys will see my hair and then I get the comments saying, well, your hair looks really awesome. It's because I'm using one of these. So let me show you the difference. Obviously, you guys can see that my hair is already curled, but I'm going to curl a top piece so you guys can see what the difference is. And oh, you know, it might not even be ready. Let's see if it is. And I got some adult hair in that. It's a little hard doing a live hair curling tutorial, so hopefully you guys have seen that. See how that's a little bit more wavy? That's what you're going to get a lot of the beach curls from. I'm going to let this get a little bit hotter. So let me ask her a few questions really fast. Um, I have people saying I always burn myself with a wand. Um, all of the wands typically come with a glove. So use the glove if you're not used to doing your hair. I rocked my hair around a curling iron for years and years and years. Um, so, um, I never have issues burning myself, but if you do, you can totally use a glove. If you didn't get a glove, then just get one at the store. You can get like a gardening glove or like a craftsman or like a, like, um, like a hardware guy's kind of glove. I don't even know what that's called. <laughs> Hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, okay. I, um, do I brush my curls out? That's something I actually want to show you guys. So one thing you guys can do, there's a few tricks actually. I'm going to have to curl my hair to show you guys. So let me at least curl the top hair for you guys so you can see what it looks like. Um, when you curl your hair, you get pieces, right? Well, at least I do. And maybe you guys don't. I know I have some hairdressers probably following me right now, and they're probably rolling in their graves. I don't know because I might not do it the way a hairdresser would, but that's okay because I'm just showing you guys what I do and what works for me. But let me separate this really fast. So if I'm supposed to curl my hair, um... Um, okay, let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay, sorry, you guys' questions catch me off guard sometimes. <laughs> okay, so when I'm curling my hair, I'm going to hurry and do this whole side for you guys. When I'm curling my hair, and I'm always going backwards, remember, um, you guys can actually brush them out if you want to. If your curls are tight, I'll show you. Oh, there you go. See, that's a good example of a curl for you guys that I got with my wand. Let me just do a few more. If you guys, um, we brush them out, it gives you, oops, I didn't go up high enough. I'm trying to see. It will um, give it like this really cool like 40s look where it's kind of all your curls are blended. And if you're curling your hair all the same way, then they all kind of blend together and that actually looks super cool. So can you guys see my curls that are popping out? And like I said, I'm not holding them in very long. And everything's backwards. Sorry, I'm a little slow because I'm looking into a backwards mirror. Um, so let me hurry and curl a bunch of these guys so you can see them. <laughs> okay. 
Um, good. So you guys see like the different types of curls that we're getting here? It's going to be a lot of hair, but I want to show you quickly. I wish I could fast forward it, like speed it up so you guys don't have to watch this part, but um, hopefully I can ask, answer a few questions. Someone asked me about dry shampoo. I did a video about that. I really like Batiste um, dry shampoo as a very like affordable option, Batiste. Um, I know a lot of people like that. I know a lot of people like the brown and the, um, they have like a brunette version and they have a blonde version. So um, you just have to be careful what you touch after you put it in and then you have to wash your hands because you don't want to get any of the powder on your clothes. So, okay, so we're getting like lots of really, really tight curls. Around my face, I like to typically do, now this is kind of a trick I learned from another YouTuber. Um, I want to say it was Kara Loren. Um, I'm not sure. Anyway, but if you actually pull this to your face, you kind of pull it over so you create a tightness right here, and you pull it out, you have like a curl that isn't as tight and it kind of does like a swoosh back. It's not even a word, probably not. Swoosh back. Okay, great. Now that I have curls for you guys, let's put this out of the way. Now that I have curls, you guys can see all those curls with the curling iron. Um, after they're cool, you want to wait till they're cool, you can actually brush them through. But I want to show you guys there's two different ways to brush. So if you'll see, they're all kind of piecey, right? And I see a lot of people who kind of comb through their hair, but then the tops are really piecey. And sometimes for me, and this is my own personal opinion, but sometimes I feel like the piecey looks look like your hair's kind of oily, like it isn't just brand new because you pieced your hair separately and curled it separately. So what I like to do is do a half brush, where I brush from here to here, and then I stop. So it blends all this together, but still gives me curls and doesn't touch the curls. So this is one option. So you'll see how that kind of like blends it all in, like totally different, right? In literally like two seconds <laughs> to just brush the, just the top half right here to blend those curls in. And that will work no matter what curling iron you use or whatever. And that's typically what I do when I get a lot of comments on my hair is because I've just blended the top half with a brush. Now, if you guys want to add some, if you guys want a different look, this is what I was talking about with the 40s look. It's just a brush all the way through. And then you start to get like a, then you, can you see that? I don't even know if you can. Then you start to get like the, like the hair, like it gets, starts to blend together. Um, that works really, really good on day two or day three. And I've also found that after I brush it, after it's curled, they, they start to form together into curls, like they kind of like connect because I curled them all the same way. So hopefully you guys can see that. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. How are we feeling? How are we feeling about the video so far? Um, I wasn't sure how this is going to go, and um, I'm glad that it's going really well. But hopefully you guys can see a little bit now, at least the top half and the rest of the hair kind of put it underneath what it looks like. Yeah? Okay. Sweet. Okay, so let's go over some questions. I actually am doing giveaways, guys, so don't forget I'm going to give some giveaways in, um, to you guys, and they're really cool giveaways at the very end of this. They're beauty and makeup related, so just chill, and you guys can get some of these giveaways. I'll give them away to people who are watching live and not. Okay, um, let's see. Okay, good. Okay, thank you for that. Thank you for giving me some love and support. You guys are saying I'm doing good. Good. Okay, great. Um, I, um, someone asked me about pomade helping curls stay longer. If anyone is a hairstylist and is watching, maybe you guys can answer that. I never use pomade on my hair because, the, honestly, the curling irons are so hot that I don't need to. So, um, people ask if I highlight my hair. Yes, I do. Um, I pay to go have it done <laughs> and I'm very particular about my hair. It's something that I do pay money for, um, because I want, um, to keep my hair and I want to keep it healthy. And, um, so I'm kind of anal you know, about that and I'm making sure that it looks good. Um, another question. So, um, Kirsten or Kirsten asked me, do you prefer the wand or curling iron? Um, if I, they just give me a different curl. So I'm not sure I like, I, it's not one that I prefer over the other. It's just more of like, what look am I going for? So do I want a tighter look and like more of like a beachy waves or do I want something looser or do I want ringlet curls? Um, these are probably the two most used curling irons that I have. Um, there are types of curling irons. So I just going to use one of these and then I use a tapered wand typically because I don't feel like I really need a wand that's just straight. Um, because I mean, can you just use this one? It's kind of like a do-it-all type of curling iron, if that makes sense. All right, so I've had a few people say that their curls don't stain ever. That's exactly why I wanted to do this video. 
because with these curling irons, that's why I love them so much, just because they really do make my hair stay the way they, um, they really make my hair stay all day long. Okay, um, I think I, what do you do with your hair at night? This thing, love it. It's like a new wave scrunchie. I can't remember the name of it. If anyone knows the name of this, will you guys leave a comment? I got it, I'm gonna have to search it or whatever. It's like, um, you can put it in your hair and you can put it in just like a low ponytail and sleep in it and it won't leave a kink in your hair. Um, it's pretty awesome, but you don't have like a huge frilly scrunchie. <laughs> so if anyone knows what this is called, um, leave a comment. And if not, then I might have to do like an Instagram post updating you guys in a couple days as far as what this is called, but that should help you guys out too. And I want to make sure that I didn't forget anything. Um, okay. All right, I think I'm okay. I think I've done everything. I mean, this is a pretty long live video. Um, um, okay, oh, someone asked me where my sweatshirt's from. Okay, let me tell you about my sweatshirt really fast because I found, okay, so I know these girls that run Coco and Scout. It's this company on Instagram I started following. They have the coziest sweatshirts I have ever worn in my entire life. This one's cute. It says, lover for Valentine's Day. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be wearing this almost every day. It was worth every penny that I spent on it. Um, so if you guys want to check that out or that site out, um, just go to the show.com slash letter C, letter S for Coco and Scout. Um, that way you guys can check it out. And again, if you guys are watching this on a playback, then you guys can just, um, it'll be down below in the YouTube description. Okay. Phew, I feel like I'm talking so fast. Okay. Um... Okay, we have lots of questions. Woo. All right, so do you guys, do, okay, so answer my question really, really fast. Um, do you guys want to see me curl all my hair super, super fast so you guys can see what like it looks like? And if you do, tell me if you want regular curling iron or if you want a wand. Comment right now and say wand or curling iron and I'll do it super fast for you guys to see how fast it really does take um, with these curling irons and then show you guys what the final look looks like, yeah? So comment with wand, <laughs> with wand or curling iron and I'll hurry and do both of them for you guys. I do it all the way around so you can see what the curl looks all the way around my hair, even though a lot of this is kind of loose and peachy. Sound good? Um, someone asked me my nail color is. I have no idea. <laughs> um, I got them done at the nail salon, and I don't know what color it is because they just have numbers. Sorry. Um, but it's like a pinky orange, so I hope that helps you guys out. Okay. All right. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is a good question. This is a tricky, a tricky question that I have a trick to. Um, Heather asked me if I ever use product after I curl my hair for flyaways um, that looked like you have static. For the top of my hair right here, I typically get um, like little short like baby hair flyaways. I actually use eyebrow um, gel. Like, you know, like the little eyebrow gels that you guys can buy, they're like two bucks at the store. I use a tiny bit of that and just kind of comb it down and it keeps all of this down. It is so awesome. So if you guys need to deal with like little flyaways, that totally works. Okay, let's check. Okay, we were getting iron, 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 iron. Oh, you guys are killing me. Got half one. <laughs> really iron. Mm. Oh, geez. Okay. All right, so let's do, I'll do half one side and half the other. Does that sound good to you guys? Okay. All right, again, we're bringing up my hair because... Why not, right? Why the freak not? Thursday night, we're hanging out. Okay, so while I'm doing this, I need to talk to you guys because um, I can do this really fast if I'm not talking to you. But if I am talking to you, it might go a little bit slower. But um, so let's, um, why don't you guys tell me what issues you have with curling your hair? Um, maybe what your favorite products are, your favorite brands so everyone can share. Um, and then I'll start curling this and we're going to do um, wand on this side. Sound good? Okay, here we go. Let me change this really fast. Gotta change my thing so I can actually see you guys. Okay, here we go. Okay, I have someone asking me, where's my curling iron from? Um, if you're catching the video late, um, all you have to do is go to the maliashow.com slash curls and it will pull up all the deals for the curling irons right now um so that will help you guys out 
You guys see how fast, like, this is? That's why I love it. Um, for those of you who have layers in your hair, let me talk about that. Like, the layers in your hair, it's going to take you a little bit longer because you want to make sure that you curl each layer separately so you don't have really weird jagged lines in your curls. I used to have a lot of layers, and I had to actually tell my hairstylist to not cut layers anymore. Um, to not cut drastic layers, so I could actually do that. Okay, this side we're going to curl the curling iron. You guys want me to do a wrap? Are we doing wraps? Or are we doing an inside wrap? Let's do an inside wrap so you guys can see what that looks like. Okay, so we're getting like a lot of comments. I hope you guys are seeing those in the chat. Um, oh, I didn't plug it in. Dang it, I'm an idiot. Okay, so let me finish this side first. <laughs> Or, if you guys just want to wait a second, I can plug this in. That's what happens when you're not in your bathroom and you have to hurry and plug something in. Ignore me! Alright, that wasn't lovely. I'm not sure what was. <laughs> okay, we're ready now. Okay, we'll let that one speed up and I'll do the side. Um, I don't think it's a matter of Jewel, Julie asks, are layers just not in anymore? And I just, I just, it's not that layers aren't in, I just, I remember having so many layers in my hair, it was just really hard to curl because layers would fall out when I was curling it and then I have to curl that piece. It took like twice as long. Anyway. Oh, um, I'm, I'm getting so many questions. This is great, guys. And again, I'm getting distracted. I'm sorry. Um, let me pull this half down so you guys can see this half. I don't typically curl my hair like this. It's a little... Difficult. Okay. Um, by the way, I put my hair in my mouth. I know it's disgusting, but it makes me do it really fast. So, right now we're about two minutes of just curling this side, minus that weird time that I had where I had to um, <laughs> plug in. So it really does take you, like it really does take me about five minutes to curl all of my hair. Okay. So that's this side, and that is done with the wand. It's an inch, probably. Yeah, it's an inch down, so you guys can see this side. And hopefully my other side is almost up. Um, good, I'm glad other people put their hair in their mouth, too. I'm gonna leave this here. The other curling iron's almost ready, and I'm gonna answer a few questions really fast. Um, I know a lot of people, Sarah asked, I use a flat iron to curl my hair, thoughts on that? I know a lot of people who do that. Um, it was just, typically it's a tighter curl than I like. Um, I feel like I have a little bit more control with the curl and how I want the curl to come out when I'm done with the curling iron. But if you love getting, I mean, if you love using a flat iron, like totally use it. Maybe I'll have to show you guys how to use a flat iron um, to curl your hair. I know a lot of people don't know how to do that. That would be a really good video, actually. So thanks, Sarah, for bringing that up. Um, her hair, Erica said her hair falls flat halfway through the day. Um, I, the hairspray will help with that. At least it does with me. It did with it and it has with me. Um, again, I you guys really should try the curling iron. I'm, for reals, like it really will help. I promise, because my hair didn't used to stay all day long. Um, how do you keep your kids out of your hair? <laughs> Mine always pulls kids. My kids out of my hair. Um, your kids pull out your curls. I'm not sure. Is that what you're saying, or is it a, is it a, like a, a typo? Answer that for me really fast, Sarah. Um, why should you curl your hair away from your face? Carol asked me that. The reason why is because I feel like it like lightens and brightens up your face a little bit more and um, instead of curling into your face, it's kind of like cutting off your face and your curls are coming in this way and instead of your curls are going out, it's kind of like drawing more attention to your beautiful face instead of cutting in. Um, one thing you can do, and I know that a lot of like, like people who do hair for models do this, is they will do like a curl going this way and the next time they'll do a curl going out. So they'll do this one will go in, this one will go out. 
in order to make all the curls so they're not universal. So you could do that too. But the ones around your face, I would definitely, definitely do out. The first, the two pieces by your face, have them go out. Even if you do mess up what area or which direction the curls are going back there. Yeah? Okay, I had um, someone, okay, Ashley asked me how my surgery went. Guys, I feel awesome after my surgery. Like, seriously awesome. This one kind of came out. Um, I feel honestly, like, super, super good. And I was thinking I would do a video about it if you guys wanted me to. Maybe it'll be like another video. Um, I could tell you guys all about the endometriosis and the hysterectomy surgery. So if you have any issues or have had those or no one does, I think you'd be surprised how many people have endometriosis. It's kind of crazy. So, okay, so let's curl the other side, shall we? Okay. I have a lot of hair over here. <laughs> it might take me a second. Okay. Wish I had like some music in the background to like keep you guys entertained right now while I'm trying to get my hair situated. Okay, we're gonna do a curling iron in. So I'll just show you guys what that looks like. If I have time, I typically don't curl my hair super fast. I take a little bit more time, but. We are kind of on a deadline, and I don't want to keep this here forever. So, let's see that I'm putting it in the curling iron. Have any of you guys done that before? Put the curl inside the curling iron and not just like wrapped it all around the outside? Oh, I forgot to tell you guys about this. Sometimes your hair, some people, everyone's hair is different. Sometimes if I'm in a hurry, I will put some heat on the hair first and then wrap it. Um, that helps a lot to get the curl to form a little bit faster. Um, depending on your hair, if it's not very thick, that might be too much heat on your hair. So you'll have to decide yourself whether it's something you think your hair can handle or not. See how that one curled like way better than the others? It's because it was just a little bit hotter. And I'll leave that back section out because, well, actually, no, I won't. <laughs> All right. Um, let me scroll up. Okay, so I've had a lot of people say to do the video on the surgery, so I will totally do. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, someone just commented saying what the name of the hair ties are. They're called L. Erickson Grab and Go Ponytail Holders. Um, and she even said, I can attest they are amazing. Okay, thank you for telling me what they are. I don't even know the name of them. These truly are amazing. So now you know. But they are. Can you guys already kind of see like a difference between these curls, which are like more almost kind of more zigzaggy, and these ones are a little bit more like wavy and loose? Hopefully you guys can. Okay, we're almost done with these. Alright guys, it's Thursday night. I'm almost done curling my hair. What shows do you guys typically watch on Thursday night? Are there any like good TV shows or Netflix shows you guys are watching right now? You gotta let me know because I'm running out of good shows to watch and escape. Comment and let me know. Typically I watch things like Grey's Anatomy, but they're not on right now, so I don't really have any shows to watch on Thursday nights. Okay, We're almost done guys. You guys are being so patient. I know the video's a little long. But hopefully I'll answer all of your questions, and then you guys will have a rockin' hair or you guys can try out some of these things for yourself. I think that's what I love the most about doing the live videos is that I get to like talk to you guys and interact. Because when I film videos that aren't live, it's like talking to nobody. And you guys usually ask questions that I forget or even like, that I forget to even add into a video. So it's always good when you guys are doing a live video with me because then I know exactly what to ask you guys. Okay. So that's that side with the curling iron. That is that side with the curling wand. It's different. Can you guys tell the difference between the two? They are different, but they're both they're both pretty. It just depends on what you're looking for. Okay. Um, once upon a time, Grey's Anatomy, Pretty Little Liars. I do like Pretty Little Liars, although they've got to freaking figure out what's going on with that show. It's been going on forever. Okay, my hair's been curled a ton of times today. There you go. We have some different curls for you guys. Hope you like it.
Okay. What do you guys think? Like it? Yes? Perfect. Okay. I want you guys to try it. All right. Okay, we're done. So now let's do the giveaway. I think I told you guys everything I wanted to tell you about hair. Hopefully I gave you guys a bunch of tips that you guys can remember. But now I want to give away some stuff. You guys ready? Okay. Um, so I have companies who send me stuff all the time, and I've told you guys before, like, I am always blown away by how many people or bloggers or YouTubers or whatever, like, don't give away anything because I know how much stuff they get uh, typically. So we are going to do a giveaway from some of the stuff that some of the stuff that companies have sent me lately. Um, so I'm going to give away two of the things right now, right now live to only those who are watching the live feed. Um, and that way I can hurry and pick a winner. And then um, the rest of the products I'm giving away will be on like the video that people watch in the playback. So if you guys are watching the live feed right now, you'd have to go and answer the question on the, the video once it's uploaded to my YouTube page. So if that makes sense, I'll explain it in a second. But hopefully you guys are, are ready to go. Okay, before we move on to the giveaway, I just have to tell you guys again, if you want the curling iron um, deal, it is um, the maliashow.com slash curls. So open up a new YouTube or a new page. I just posted it again in the chat section. And it's below in the YouTube description if you're watching the playback. That way you guys can go and grab that because they are on sale. And I love them when they go on sale because it will save you, I think, at least $10 on what they typically cost. So that's great. Okay, let's do a giveaway. Yeah? All righty. Okay, so I have a handful. Um, actually, let me, just, let me just give away three things to you guys, okay? I have a bunch of expensive perfumes <laughs> that Ulta sent me. And... Um, I just figured instead of me keeping them, because I already have perfume, that I would give them away to you guys. So I have Viva La Juicy, Juicy Couture um, perfumes, and I also have the Dolce & Gabbana Rosa Excelsia, and I have a Black Opium Saint Laurent perfume. These are all high-end, expensive perfumes. <laughs> um, probably at least 60 bucks, if not more, I would assume. So I'm gonna mail these guys to three winners. So. Right now, um, if you guys want to enter, and this is just on the live chat, if you are not watching live right now, you're not going to win these because I'm going to give them away right now. If you're watching the YouTube, like replay, you're going to do a giveaway in just a second, so just chill for one sec, yeah? Okay. All right. Um, oh, quick question. Nicole Barney just asked me for the curling irons. Are the ones on sale the ones that I use? Yes. This one and this one are both on sale. So yes, go to that link, um, themaliashow.com slash curls, and you guys can get it, Okay. All right, so for these curling, so for these perfumes, um, let's, I want you guys to just comment with um, the favorite, your favorite thing that you learned today. Anything new or relearned or I helped you remember, whatever. That's all I want you to do right now. You have 60 seconds to comment right now um, and tell me what one thing that you learned or relearned or remembered from the video. Yeah? Okay, so go right now. Comment, 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 and while you guys are doing that, I'm going to answer a few more of the questions, and yeah, okay. So, um, Anna just told me that she was totally struggling curling her hair this morning, and she's so glad we did the live video. Yes, I am too. Even if my videos only help, like, one or two people, I am so glad, because it's always nice to have someone who's, like, willing to help and, like, show you what to do, because... And this is a time saver to have someone do it, so I just love that. Okay. Okay, so I think I've answered all the questions. I'm kind of scrolling up to see. Um, okay. And if you guys are just tuning into the video, because I know it's been kind of long, um, you guys can probably rewind it right now. I'm not sure if it'll let you do that on the live version or not. But in just about 15 to 20 minutes after this video ends, YouTube will upload it to, um, to like, my actual channel. So you can go to... Um, youtube.com slash the Malia show and it will be there sitting for you guys to watch okay all right so I hope you guys are answering the questions um, okay we've got only like 30 seconds left so hurry and answer the question to answer the giveaway the live one right now okay do, 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 do. oh you guys are doing so good comment 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 all right okay we've got 15 seconds and I'm going to pull a winner. I'm going to pull three winners. And if you're a winner, then all I want you to do is you're going to email me if you're the winner. Um, and I'll tell you guys if you're a winner. Okay? All right. OK. 
Okay. Okay, five, four, three, <laughs> two, one. Okay, so here we go. I'm closing my eyes, making sure that I'm all the way up. Okay, good. And the first winner is Katie Rooney. You just won the Dolce & Gabbana Rosa Excelsia. Katie Rooney, congratulations. Okay, Katie, I just want you to email me, malia at themaliashow.com. Email me tonight so I can get your address and mail this out, okay? All right, so let's pull another one. You guys ready? Scrolling up, scrolling down. Okay. Um, okay, you guys are adding comments. It's messing it up. Mm. Hold on. Okay, and... Okay, Haley Helfrick. Haley Helfrick. You just won the Viva the Juicy. Um, email me, Malia, at themaliashow.com tonight so I can get your address and mail this out to you. Congratulations, Haley. Okay, I have one more that we're doing for the live video only. Um, let's keep going. Do, 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 do. So many, so many comments, and I love it. It's so fun. <laughs> okay, and the winner is Michelle Holdaway, or Holdaway. You just won the St. Laurent Black Opium. Congratulations. Email me, Malia, at themaliashow.com tonight so I can mail this out to you. Okay, so those three were fun. Did you guys like that kind of giveaway? I like doing those because you guys actually watched the live version, so I wanted to give away something to you guys because you actually were live with me. Um, and then for those of you who um, couldn't watch the live version, which I totally understand, I'm gonna do a giveaway for a few other things, so let me hurry and show you what they are. Okay, so the first thing that I'm giving away is the Stila Starlight Star Bright Highlighting Palette. And this is really, really pretty. I'm gonna hopefully help you guys see this without breaking it. So whoever gets it, okay. It's like really, really pretty, yeah? Okay, so this is actually pretty expensive. I wanna say it's like 40 bucks. So that is going to go to a winner. And um, the other thing I have is this NYX um, Liquid Suede Lipstick, pa lipstick Set. I talked about this during Christmas. It's 50 bucks, or it was 50 bucks over Christmas. So um, this is a really awesome one I'm giving away as well. And then I'm also giving away this makeup box from Ulta full of makeup. I wanna say there's like, I mean, there's drawers, there's pullouts, there's like all the makeup in here. And then there's like pullout drawers, like right here, that have like makeup inside of them too kind of hard to show you when the video's live. Anyway, so I'm giving away those three things. I'm gonna be giving them away on this video. The only thing is, is that in order for everyone to enter, you have to be actually commenting on the real video. So in about 20 minutes when this video ends, um, you'll be able to actually see the video on my channel, not the live version with the chats that's going on right now, like the real comments that stay on the video forever and ever and ever. So if you guys wanna win one of those three things, I want you guys to comment with um, the next beauty makeup or hair video that you'd like me to do. Um, maybe you guys like, like, I don't know what you guys want me to do, but something, I don't know. Share what you guys want me to do. Maybe I shouldn't do that one. What's it easier? Let's do something easier. Let's do something simple. How about, how about, um, okay, I'm changing my mind. I just want you guys to comment with your favorite color. Done, right? Like, super easy. Because I wanted to think of something that that anyone could answer and it'd be super simple to enter, okay? So, if you guys want to win this, or this, or this makeup set, you guys will need to comment on the full video that's over on my YouTube channel in about 20 minutes, okay? Um, that way would be, like, the easiest. Um, so just comment with your favorite color. But don't comment here with your favorite color because it won't transfer over. So... Just maybe like later tonight if you're still awake or in like 15 minutes or whatever. Okay. And now I just feel like I am just blabbing away and it's been a really long video. So anyway, I hope you guys um, liked this video. If you guys did, will you please give it a like, like a thumbs up? And you can actually share this video with your friends. So if you have friends who want to know hair curling tips or whatever, I would love it if you shared it. Um, I always have people asking me questions like this and it's great to like kind of get it out there. Okay. Um, so let me answer a few questions. Thanks for watching. So if you guys are done, I think we're done with hair curling tips. So if you're done with hair curling, you can hop off. But I'm going to answer a few questions really fast before I completely hop off. Amanda asked me if I've ever curled my lashes with a, a blow dryer. Yes. Every single day, 
I heat up my blow dryer or heat up my curly, my eyelash curler with a blow dryer, make sure it's a little like okay, and then I clamp it. it works so great. So yes, I totally do that. Um, so many questions. Any other questions? We've got a lot of comments. So you guys are freaking awesome. Thank you so much for like hanging out with me tonight. I know you guys have other things to do at night, and if you're anything like me, like you kind of just want to like relax from your kids or get away or forget about the whole day and just like veg. So I'm glad you guys decided to spend it with me. If you guys liked this kind of video that was totally live with the live giveaways and the live like tutorial of some sort, will you guys let me know because if you guys, it's so much easier for me to do this live than it is for me to edit a video like this. It takes me so long to edit the videos that are beauty tutorials. So I would love to be able to do more live tutorials. Like someone mentioned like a smoky eye or um, like tips for making bigger lips because my lips are super, super small. So I know how to make my lips a little look a little bit bigger. Anyway, comment and let me know if you guys want me to do this kind of thing in the future because if you do, I'm totally going to do it for you guys. Um, it's kind of fun. Maybe we can make it like a regular thing. Like maybe Thursdays will always be live video nights or something. I don't know. I have lots of ideas and I sometimes it can be a bad thing. Anyway. Okay, if you're brand new to my channel, please subscribe so you guys do not miss any more videos. And I'm going to talk to you guys later. I'll see you guys on Tuesday night. This video is going live on Tuesday nights and Thursday nights. And um, if I don't see you, I will talk to you. Or if I don't hear from you over on my Instagram or Snapchat, then I will see you guys next week. Have an awesome weekend. Okay, bye guys.